Wolverine Sports presents Red Wolves Live. Welcome to Red Wolves Live. I'm Logan Whaley. Arkansas State football has just two home games left in 2023. The Red Wolves are still in the mix for bowl eligibility. A State at 4-4 four four entering today. Butch Jones' pack taking on the 5-3 Raging Cajuns of Louisiana this afternoon. The first Red Wolves drive, it's third and seven. Jalen Rayner can't find anyone open, so he's going to take off. 13-yard pickup. And that moves the chains later in the drive. Zach Wallace, he had a 100 yard game with two scores last week at ULM. The UT Martin transfer finds an opening, takes off to the end zone for the third time over the past two games. 18 yard score, a state with an opening drive touchdown. It's seven to nothing. Well, the Cajuns went three and out to start the game. Polar opposite on this drive. Zeon Chris having to improvise, launches it. Peter LeBlanc wide open 87 yard touchdown on the very first play of the drive. Louisiana ties it at seven, so a state looking to answer. They have it across midfield. Rainer to Courtney Jackson 23 yards and the Red Wolves are in the red zone. Later in the drive, Rainer keeping it himself at the goal line. First of two rushing scores for him today. A state goes up 14 to seven in the first quarter. Well, rushing defense was a big story in this one. Kieron Crawford. What a day he had. He gets to the backfield three yard loss on the play and Arkansas State led it 14 to 7 after the first quarter. So we'll go to the second Rainer to Courtney Jackson once more. Only two catches for the Syracuse transfer, but 47 yards and the drive would stall after a false start in a sack. But Dominic Zavada here from 41 yards out two scored lead. It's 17 to 7. The Cajuns go three and out, so it's back to the Red Wolves. Third and 10 in enemy territory. Rainer bouncing around. There's Adam Jones 24 yard pickup, but again, a state is held to a field goal. Regardless, it's four straight drives with a score to start this one. It's 20 to 7 Arkansas State. That one was a 20 yard chip shot by Zavada ensuing kickoff. A football Friday night star would make a play on special teams. You'll see number 37. That's Cross County's AJ Beal getting the tackle. Louisiana would get a field goal before half, but a state went to the locker room with a 20 to 10 lead. So let's go to the second half. Third quarter Blaine Toll will track down the Cajun for a stop, but the drive would continue. This would be the 11th play of the drive. Zeon Chris. Read option and he's going to score Louisiana cutting into the deficit. It's now 20 to 17 later. Rainer evades pressure, flips it to Jaquez Cross. He's going to pick up a first down. Cajuns go after Rainer again and once again Jalen shrugs him off. There's Jaquez Cross once more for another first. The Fordyce native was the leading receiver today. Six grabs for 66 yards. Rainer caps the caps off the drive with his second touchdown of the day. Arkansas State back up by 10. 27 to 17. Check this out in Sue and kickoff. Gavin Potter with the hit stick. Number 13, the Kansas transfer with a big play. 27 to 17, your score after three. Well, Chris left the game after an injury. Chandler Fields, a new Cajun quarterback. That's Eddie Smith, though, with an interception. Big play there. Was originally ruled incomplete, but a review overturned it. More A State defense later. Cam Jeffrey. With the sack, Red Wolves had three of those today. Louisiana goes for it on fourth down again, but Sammy Johnson swats it away. The Red Wolves take over on downs in prime territory. But Dominic Zavada with his third field goal of the day, 30 yards. It's now 30 to 17. We're less than 90 seconds left in this one. Kieron Crawford strip sack. Javante Mackey scoops and scores 16 yards for the Red Wolves exclamation point. Arkansas State wins 37 to 17. Louisiana entered today top 15 in all of FBS in rushing yards. A State's front seven held them to just 64 today. The Red Wolves, on the other hand, with their most rushing yards as a team in a game since 2018. Sports director Chris Hutchison has a post game report. Arkansas State football beat their biggest Sun Belt rival for the first time in six years. The Red Wolves defense held the Raging Cajuns to a season low 64 rushing yards. The Scarlet and Black had two takeaways in the fourth quarter. Kieron Crawford walks us through his strip sack that led to a Javante Mackey scoop and score. I recognize the tackle 50. And so I knew how he was setting. So I tried to go ghost and just reduce the surface and 
Get that, put that hand out. That was huge. It was huge. We're playing great defense right now. We just got to keep it up and make the next step. Reinventing who we are, going back to the fundamentals and details of taking the football away. You know, those two takeaways uh, were critical stages, critical junctures of the game. They were game-changing, game-altering plays. And then I thought we were very consistent on special teams. Dominic Zavada, a stable force for us in special teams. Our kickoff cover did a good job. We never, ever relinquished the momentum. Um, and I thought we were in control of the game really from the get-go. A-State had a season high in rushing yards. The natural state trio of Zach Wallace, Cedric Hawkins, and Jaquez Cross combined for 180 of the 232 yards. It's early. It's a little, little, home, little homecoming, so you know, I, I, I'm proud of those guys. I mean, we're all different and we're all special in our, in our way, and you know, we, we make the plays that comes, that comes to us. And uh, we, we just all go to work every single week, you know? We, we root for each other. Our mindset is different. Like, we, we, we taught ourselves that we was going to put the game on us this game. And uh, we showed up. And uh, as a group, we, that's an amazing feeling, just being, you know, being able to show the team, you know, show everybody that we can do that. You know, that, that was just a great thing. Arkansas State is 5-4 and four and just one win away from being bowl eligible. Butch Jones' Red Wolves hit the road to face South Alabama next Saturday. At Centennial Bank Stadium, Chris Hudgeson, K8 Sports.